Official year 1051 on the 10th of October 2018. A Liberty gas van has just left. I don't have gas in my property, fortunately. Um, I don't bid on property usually if they've got gas in because of the trouble I had somewhere else. Um, basically, I was in a cellar. Alexandra Road, Chatham, 9A, was a flat in a cellar. It was a woman's safe house. And when I moved in, it was filthy. It was disgusting. Like every property I'm offered at the moment. I don't know whether it's because the devil is supposed to live in shit. And I'm being quite blunt here. But if there was a devil, he wouldn't have nice things. He would live in a shithole, dripping ceiling, stinky floor and dirty toilets. So everything I get offered is not acceptable. The first flat I got offered at Five Ways had a hole in the kitchen with wires hanging out and the wet room was all rusty and it looked disgusting like it hadn't been cleaned in several years. The second property I was offered opposite Gillingham Library called Phoenix Court was full of ganja smokers the letterbox was broken, the carpet was filthy, it looked like something had clawed the walls, and the flat had holes in the floor, creaky floorboards, and an electric socket was cracked and broken, which would have caused somebody to get electrocuted eventually. It was only because Steve, the man from Chittingbourne, pointed the things out that I saw that the flat was indeed dangerous and not fit to live in. And both properties were run by a company called Optivo, O-P-T-I-V-O. Um, there is a property now being let again in five ways. Um, probably the same flat I went for, I don't know. Um, anything else I bid on, especially in Gloucestershire, I'm either 279 even though I'm silver, and in significant medical need of help to move and um, they offer me the disgusting properties on Medway Home Choice the ones that nobody else wants or someone's moved out because of drug use or antisocial behaviour so the only other option, option for me is to private rent or get so fucking rich that I can buy my own house and at the moment, I'm trying to get so fucking rich I can get the fuck out of here on my own account. Um, I'm just going to have my breakfast, which is a banana. And if I don't get fucking rich, well, who cares? <laughs> I'm reading a book at the moment called An American Princess, The Love Story of Meghan Markle and Prince by Leslie Carroll. Brand new book printed in 2018. Um, it tells you all about Prince Harry's antics leading up to him becoming a prince. And obviously we all know that Harry was a naughty boy and he's changed his ways and it looks like Meghan is keeping him under control and they're very much in love. They hug and kiss and they're a lovely couple and may they have a long marriage together. Um, so I was just reading that Harry used to get drunk and he used to take drugs and obviously he had that incident where he dressed up as a Nazi and he was uncontrollable when he was younger. So I'm just going to read you uh, bits of, of what they've said about Prince Harry in here. And yet this chain-smoking, cocktail-drinking, super-confident young man, whom the press had nicknamed Hooray Harry, had also been voted Britain's most eligible bachelor by Harper's Bazaar. Although the prince certainly had no shortage of giggling female admirers, 
He was also something of a fixer-upper. Harry did eventually manage to get the grades for Sandhurst, but the Royal Military Academy did not accept cadets under the age of 20, so Harry had to extend his gap year after graduating from Eton in 2003. Um, Harry earned the dubious distinction of being able to drink three of their speciali speciality white panthers in quick su succession at the Nam Long Lee Shaker. So he was drinking everything from beer to exotic cocktails. He drank it in a goblet that was meant for two. Harry is out of control, screamed the headlines when he was photographed, stumbling bleary-eyed into the night or indulging in the sort of public displays of affection with a young lady that should have been kept private. Um, and he liked mooning as well, flashing his bottom. Uh, it goes on to talk about Prince Andrew, Randy Andy, dating Pooh Stark. Um, but leading, leading up to Harry now, he, 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 um, he was, he smoked marijuana. Um, he, his parents made mistakes, but, the, but what gets me is, Every parent makes mistakes, even royal parents make mistakes. But they don't get their children taken off of them, and I'm not going on and on about my adopted son, but every parent makes mistakes. Charles not paying attention to Harry so that Harry's drinking alcohol and taking drugs is bad parenting. The royals don't seem to get told off, whereas the public parents do. So, um, I just wanted to tell you also that um, Meghan Markle, um, her mother used to call her Flower. And I was in the library the other day with that long-haired black lady. And she kept calling the staff Flower. All right, Flower? Which I haven't heard in some time. All right, darling. All right, sweetie. All right, babe. But Flower. So now I find out that Meghan Markle is called Flower. Um, it seems that the royals are in charge, but they haven't got a clue what mess they've made. They've made a mess up of bringing their children up. They've got divorces in their family. The, the Queen and Philip have let Charles get away with murder. Um, so I'm just a bit fed up at the moment. 